Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about symbolism. Maybe you've heard this term before. Maybe you've heard the word symbol. Maybe you've heard symbolism. What is it and how do we identify it in a novel? So symbolism, if we were going to define this, it is an action, a person, a place, a word, event, or object. So basically anything anything that stands for something beyond its literal meaning. And what do I mean by literal? If we look at these images below, it's pretty easy to figure out what they literally are. This picture right here, fire, right? This is a picture of the Statue of Liberty, a picture of rain, of an owl, of the color red. Uh, but what kind of symbolic uh, associations might these images have? These are images that come up all the time in stories, um, in just media, in popular media. Fire often can symbolize like passion or um, life, right? While the Statue of Liberty often symbolizes freedom and liberty and justice, and sometimes in today's day and age could even symbolize injustice, right? Um, while rain, though it is literally rain, might symbolize in a lot of popular media um, life and renewal and cleansing and things like that. So a symbol is when an object stands for something beyond its literal meaning. Literally, rain is rain. But symbolically, rain might stand for something like life or renewal or something else. It very much depends on the book or text that you're reading. So symbolism is heavily dependent on context. So we just saw how one object can stand for lots of different ideas. How do we find symbols and make meaning of them? When we're reading a book, how do we find a symbol? We're going to watch for something that stands out. And authors are very intentional in trying to get us to notice these things that are standing out. Authors are intentional when they want us to find symbols. So if an author spends a really long time talking about an object or describing it, or maybe there's highly charged emotions surrounding an object or an event, um, or maybe it just comes up over and over and over again. Those are the things that will stand out in a text, and that's when we can start to think to ourselves, oh, this could be a symbol. The author might be trying to connect this object, this person, this idea, this event, to something else. Um, we want to also ask ourselves, what is this symbol related to? Does it resemble something in the world in general? Does it resemble something else in the book? We want to ask ourselves, what is this object that's coming up over and over again connected to? And we want to ask ourselves, how are we supposed to feel about this symbol? Is it positive? Is it negative? And that is going to help us narrow down and figure out what idea um, the symbol is supposed to represent. So let's take a look at the worksheet that you all are going to be working on today. In the first part of the worksheet, I'm simply asking you to give me the literal interpretation of the objects that you see here. So, for example, that first one is a picture of a clover. So the literal interpretation, it's a plant, it's a clover, right? Um, but in the objects below, what I want you to be thinking about is what else could these objects stand for? What else could they symbolize? For example, we'll do the first one together, Bob's rings. Um, Bob's rings are quite literally just rings, right? They are pieces of metal that Bob wears on his hands. But to get to the symbolic meaning behind the rings, to get to uh, what they could stand for in the novel. Um, let's think about what sort of context these rings exist in. 
So when we think about Johnny, we know that he is afraid, right? He's afraid of Bob's rings. And why is he afraid? He remembers the literal scars made by Bob's rings. They left a mark on Johnny. And what else do we think about um, when we think about those rings? The Soches are quite proud to show off their wealth when they wear these rings. Um, so literally, the rings are just rings. But if we think about the symbolic meaning they might have, putting those three sentences together is really going to help us figure that out. And we might say that the rings symbolize power that the Soches have over the greasers because Bob uses those rings to sort of terrify Johnny, to, you know, sadly, um, you know, beat him up and um, create like literal scars that Johnny is going to carry with him for the rest of his life. So the rings might symbolize that power that the Soches have over the greasers um, and them sort of showing off that power. So you guys are going to do the exact same thing with the rest of the objects here in your groups. You're going to come up with a couple of sentences, right? So um, write three statements about how the characters feel or react to each object. So for the blue Mustang, you guys are going to come up with one, two, three sentences about the blue Mustang, about how characters um, react to them or what sorts of associations there are with the blue Mustang here in the space below. You'll draw a picture, of course. You'll give me the literal interpretation and then what you and your group think the blue Mustang symbolizes.